Thanks for being here. We've got to talk a little louder. Oh. Fill the space. Hi, okay. everybody. Look at everybody. It's, it's Sean Hayes, in case you don't know. That's Sean Hayes. Uh -huh. You may have not heard of me. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you in person. I'm happy to see you in person, too. How have you been? I have been fine. Thank you for asking. Yes. How, how have you been? I've been really good. I've been really good. I, you know, I'm sad we don't get to like kiss like we usually do the three times. Maybe we could do elbow three times. Let's do it. So Should we go. And then, and then you do it. And then you kind of wait. And then you do it again. That, and you wait. And then, and then you do it again. That, yeah, yeah. That's how we kiss. Yep. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. How you know? Do you remember the last time you were here in that chair? What you did? <laughs> yeah. Did I soil it? What happened? No. <laughs> what no. What happened? No. Look. Well, let's just show the clip okay. so you'll remember. I think Brad is all the way up there. He should be this close to this much beauty. So I, I Sean Carl Hayes, am going to give up my seat next to the world's <laughs> richest lesbian <laughs> to the guy from two episodes of Growing Pains. Please, Brad Pitt. Oh. Look, we were just so close to having a real moment there. Yeah. Just a little closer, and I, his life would have changed. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, how, right, by the way, same shirt. You're wearing the same exact shirt. Exact same shirt. Yeah. That is not planned. That's your talk show host, <laughs> your talk show shirt. Sure. Yeah. Um, wait, that was crazy, though, because during, right before this moment, this moment, um, I uh, came down the, the stairs and I did this bit where I, can't, I came at him with my lips pursed and my arms open like I was gonna kiss him. He was like, ah, like, who's this idiot? <laughs> There's no way, this idiot's gotta get away from me. And he got so freaked out about it. So no. Anyway, and now he... we live together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know that. Yeah. Um, hey, you turned yeah. 50 since I saw you. I did. Yeah. How's that? How do you feel? You turned 50 since I saw you last, too, it feels like it was so long ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it was okay, but right, but you, st you, get a, you get a certain age and everything starts to fall apart, and like, my back, like, right? You had, you had back problems, right? I, yes, always. What, tell me about that. No, you, uh, you, <laughs> I, you have the story. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry. You must be exhausted from asking those questions. <laughs> uh, so, no, I, uh, I have a bad back. I don't know why, like it's a herniated disc or something. I was just trying to bond with you about what's your problem, too, I'm about your back. But, um, no, I... No, uh, let me talk then. Okay, okay. so I have... <laughs> no, I, I don't know, it's like a herniated disc, and it went down my leg, and then it gets cold, and you put a blanket just over that side, right, because it's like you get a cold sensation or hot sensation. And then, but I'm doing my exercises now, so... Uh-huh. And I'm sitting, as according to Jane Fonda, you have to have the proper... Look at me, I don't have that. Uh, no, what about... I, I have horrible posture. I'll do that now, though. Do you, are you like in pain all the time? No, I'm, I'm hardly ever in pain. Okay, I was well, just calm down about trying it. To, I'm trying to bond with you. Yeah. <laughs> I, haven't had, I haven't had back pain for a while. It, yeah. It's random. It just, it's usually stress which causes it, by the way. Am I causing you stress? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. Um, I want to I wanna show everybody this picture of this doggy that you have that is oh, the yeah. cutest. I, I'm like, this is a giant dog. It's a puppy or it's a dog? It, it's a huge. It? Oh, look at him sleeping. Um, the, his name is Ricky. He's a golden doodle. Um, I had no idea. He's nine months old, and he's 80 pounds. He's enormous. He's, I, he's a horse. I rode him here on the one one <laughs> Yeah, I, I got clearance and everything. Yeah, no, um, look at that. Look at him. Uh, he's gigantic. He's, and he has no eye concept of how big he is. No, I mean, talk about that. I am, I have no concept <laughs> about how big I mean, I am fat, so fat. My friend Andrea and I sing a song. You know Andrea Martin? She's so yes, funny. Yes, yes. Whenever we're feeling too fat, we go, fat, 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 and a fat, fat. Fat, 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 ain't a fat, 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 ain't a fat, 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 ain't a fat, fat, fat. Moving on. Yeah. Um, so, let's. What you brought video? Oh. Look how tiny he is there. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's. Oh my god, that's cute. Yeah, he. By the way, he's so sweet, and I love that, um, well, you and I, I, we both love dogs. I, they can do no wrong, but uh, I love him so much. I did not, you know, you never know what you're gonna get right when you get a dog. They could be like independent, like cats, or, um, or, or needy, like me. And so, <laughs> this one's very needy. <laughs> now, you just have the one dog? You had another just, dog. I did, I did, that didn't work out. Oh. But, but she is in a fantastic place, and by place, I mean home. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So just the one. You're not going to have a, a palette? I, yeah, I do. I do want. I do want. Get another I, one. More. Yeah. Yeah. For I, maybe even three. Yeah. Do it. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you, Challenge accepted. You, <laughs> you posted a picture of your uh, prom. I'd like to show it, and then I want to yeah. hear about what that night was for you because. Um, yeah. Look at that. That is Shireen. She's so sweet. By the way, just texted with her today. She is. Uh, so I'll tell you what. What didn't happen is nobody got any that night. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, but she is super sweet. I love her. And so gay that I took the fabric from the pants. Look how big the pants are. <laughs> took this fab By the way, you could fit four of me inside those pants. Not since MC Hammer. <laughs> but the, the fabric from the tie matches the pants and the shoes. Right. Because I thought that was... Uh, right. Everybody called me Ducky from Pretty in Pink. Well, I can see that. Now, at that time, did you realize you were gay or no? You were in denial. Absolutely. Yeah, oh, you did know. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. And look back thinking, like, you know, I, I pulled everybody, I pulled the wool over everybody's eyes. And they're like, not really. But, you know, <laughs> they, they can come back at you 20 years later, like, no, it was, you, you were pretty gay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, Why, what made you say that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, are you missing Will and Grace? It's been, how long nope. has it been now? Nope. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, I miss all the people and everybody, but no, we, we did that crazy, random, weird thing where everybody wanted to just come back, so we came back and did it, and it was done, and I think it is all good to go. Um, such a blast. I laughed so hard coming back, and it was such a gift, but, um, but definitely uh, tied up all loose ends with storylines and characters, and I feel like yeah. finally it's... But amazing to come back and do that well again the second time Crazy. around. Crazy. Really. Crazy. And then there are dolls. That's how popular the show is. There are yeah. some dolls. Let's, yeah. let's take a look at these dolls. <laughs> I mean, these dolls are from Italy, and I guess I wrote this on my Instagram. This is, I guess, how they see us. So, like, <laughs> Eric looks like John Travolta. Uh, Shelly, who played um, um, Rosario, looks like J-Lo in the middle. Uh, I look like either um, I had uh, plastic surgery. Um, well, so I won't say the other thing, because it's a famous person. So, <laughs> and then the other thing, uh, uh, <laughs> Deborah looks like they took fusilli pasta and just put it on her head. <laughs> Megan looks like she's 14. So she looks like Ariana Grande. Yeah, that's uh. Boy, they got it right. Didn't they they? Do, they really did. Can hardly see which is the real person in the doll. Um, all right, we have to look at what Andy's doing right now. He does this. He like you have to take a break. Okay. Yeah. So break up, break me off, beat the back, kick, kick, bar. <laughs> that that uh... We'll, we'll be back with Sean. You have a podcast. It's called Smartless, and Thank it's with you. Jason Bateman, Will Arnett. It is hysterical. It's doing very, very well. Thanks. Congratulations. It was, yeah, at some point, I don't know if it still is, but it's, um, we just did it on a whim, and it was so, you know, I love those guys. We've known each other for like 20 years, and we're like, let's just do this. And then right before COVID hit, and then we did it, and then COVID hit, and then we're like, well, now we can do it through Zoom. And it turned out to be like the number one comedy podcast in the world. Yeah. And it... uh, I was, we're like, what? Three idiots. Um, I don't know if it still is where it is, but yeah. Three hilarious idiots. <laughs> Three hilarious. Well, it's called Smartless because yes. we are less smart. And you've known each other for 20 years? Yeah. Where did, about... where, where did we, y'all meet? Well, you know, uh, just in and around the business and auditions and whatever, but we were just kids and we would play poker all the time at, um, at Jack Black's and, and Kyle Gass. They're, they're tenacious D in the band. Yeah. Have, and they're good friends and they're so great. And so I would uh, bring pizza over after our taping of Will and Grace and go, you know, and go play poker. It was just so fun, so easy. Who's the best poker player out of the three of you? I, I don't know, but I can tell you who's the worst is me. I would go, <laughs> I, would, I would literally show up and I'd be like, I'm all in! <laughs> and I, my, I would last like 10 minutes. Yeah. I'd be like, can I get a ride home? Yeah. Because I wouldn't have one. No, I know, I've played with you before. Yes, at your house. <laughs> and I didn't have any money and you lent me some money to play. Right, we told everyone to bring money and you came listen, up with no money. Listen to me, we'll get into this right now. <laughs> You did not tell me to bring money. I said we're playing poker. I know, but that doesn't mean, and bring money. I thought it was like, you know, we're playing for tokens or something. <laughs> well, anyway, yes, I gave you that money. That was so fun, though. It was so fun, but then I gave you money, and then you won it back. You won, I gave it so you. you gave me some money back. Yeah, it was, it yeah. was a clean, clean getaway. It was yeah. so great. And uh, uh, you're doing another podcast that's just going to be you, right? Yes, it's called Hypochondriactor. Mm-hmm. And because I am an actor who's a hypochondriac, and I do it with a friend of mine, a a female Indian doctor stand-up comedian named Dr. Priyanka Wally. 
And so we, because uh, one of my favorite parts of talk shows or, and interviews is when people talk about medical issues, because I think it's fascinating to me, like what they've survived or gone through. And if you can relate, try to relate with you about the back, but didn't want to go there. And then, uh, <laughs> but I, uh, <laughs> I fished, but I got nothing. <laughs> um, uh, so it's, it's fascinating. It's always been a fascinating subject to me. So people come on it for like 15 minutes. You know, we had Kristen Bell on, and, and Will Arnett came on, and Alec Baldwin, and all these people. And, wait, uh, wait, you're, so you really are a hypochondriac? Yeah, if I haven't had it, I think I'm going to get it. But chances are, <laughs> I've had it. Like, if you, if you said the name of a body part inside or out, I have a true story about it. OK, liver. OK, so liver, I had hepatitis A once. An acute thing. I had a bad, like, shelf, shelf, shellfish by the sea shore. Uh, I had bad shellfish or something. And, uh, and I was like jaundiced, and I was really sick, and it was awful. My mom flew out, walked me around the block, thought ear. that was going to Ear. I did have an ear infection once when I was really, really little. I don't really rem remember it, but I grind my teeth at night, and this pain went from, but I have a mouth guard now. So my a pain went from my thing up through my ear. I thought I had an ear infection. This is like two weeks ago, all the way up to the top of my head. And my doc called my doctor and he's like, yeah, wear your mouth guard. I'm like, thanks. It's <laughs> a good story. That was a good game. Um, yeah. It's a fun game. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Um, wow, so you really have had a lot of things wrong with you and whatever you haven't had, you think you will be getting. That is correct. OK. All right. <laughs> okay. Thank you for, yeah, that's basically what I just said. Yeah. <laughs> but I love it because uh, you just clear well, things up for people that may not be listening. Right. Sometimes when you talk, people just, just trail off. And I, I like, they're waiting for me to talk, and then I. By the way, you are not wrong. <laughs> you are not wrong, lady. Uh, all right. Um, what's Q Force? What are you doing with that? Uh, great segue. Uh, Q Force <laughs> is, um, yeah, what, do, what, the only thing missing is a cigarette. <laughs> yeah, Q Force. Tell me about that. Uh, so. <laughs> Q Force is uh, an animated show on Netflix <laughs> that I'm doing uh, with a, a bunch of people. No one's it's... listening to you. All right. Wrong. Q Force is an animated show that comes out late summer, early fall on Netflix. It's basically gay, uh, gay James Bond. It's a it's a, a group of LGBTQ super spies, and we solve the world's problems. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Good. And you're, you're the James Bond? Yeah, I'm the guy, the handsome guy. That's yeah. why it's animated. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I love you so much. All right, <laughs> we're, we're going to take a break, and we're going to play a game with Sean after this. We'll okay. be back. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like ball peen hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Oh, God, God.